What's up, Fire Family? <laughs> What's up, Fire Fam? I missed y'all so much. It's been some days, y'all. It's been since Friday. All right. Yes, it's been some time. I missed y'all. I hope you guys have been doing great, y'all. Sending y'all lots of love. by like healing energy and abundance. XOXO. So we are going to hop into this reading, y'all, and see what's going on. I'm really thinking about doing the new spread because I'm feeling it. All right. Um, so I'm thinking about doing the new spread. Oh, y'all, let me turn my TV down because I was doing some work. I was on my computer. So, yes, I'm thinking about doing the new spread. I know I just said that a couple of times. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so welcome back to the channel, y'all. I have missed y'all so much. So, yeah, I'm thinking about doing the new spread this week. Um... Well, today, I don't know, y'all, I'm thinking because it's already Wednesday and I had I had a lot of stuff going on this week. I took some time off. I caught up with a lot of stuff. So, let's see. I feel like it's too late in the week to do Zodiac readings this week. So, I might just post, like, some, you know, readings every day that are collective readings. And then we'll catch up on the Zodiac readings next week. Yes, I think I'm going to do it like that, y'all. All right. And um, for the meet and greet in Detroit. Well, in Michigan, it's going to be in like the Detroit. I'm looking at the the spot now. So it's going to be like either in the city, Southfield, Farmington area, something like that. Okay. For those of you who wanted to know, the tickets were supposed to go on sale on the 10th. But then I changed it because I forgot um, my dad is having his um, McKenzie reunion that weekend when I fly out. So I had to make some adjustments. So once I get with my dad and figure everything out and get with my family and my cousins and see what they're doing then i'm gonna switch the date it's gonna be that weekend i just don't know if i'm gonna do it on that saturday or sunday um so once i get all that information updated then i will post the link to purchase the tickets they are gonna be first come first serve all right um but yes i just wanted y'all to know that i'm still on top of it y'all and I'm still going to do it. I just wanted to make sure that I got everything lined up and I got the right space and everything. And, you know, I had to just make sure everything was good to go. All right. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, we are going to do that. I also have some stuff coming in for y'all. I got a new drop tomorrow. Your girl's been busy. So, I have a new drop tomorrow. Um, I decided to do another tarot class. Um... So I'll be posting that as well. And then I am going to post the love and manifestation coaching class as well. So that's, that's going to be a six week class, just like my tarot class. I know I'm trying to catch, I'm trying to, you know, catch y'all up on everything since it's been like almost a week since I've been on the channel. But, um, yeah, so I have a lot of things coming this week and next week y'all. So look forward to it. So we got the Detroit tickets for the in-person readings, which is like the mini meet and greet. It's going to be a personal experience because I'm not doing it in a room. It's going to be by appointments only. Um, so we're doing that. I'm saying we as a channel. Yes. Um, I got the manifest manifestation of love coaching class coming, tarot class coming and a new drop coming. All right. So look out for everything. y'all. Okay. Let's hop into this reading y'all. Let's see what's going on. Let's pull some energy. Let's see what y'all energy is like. So we got moved, but it flipped out in reverse. So something is not moving. All right. Maybe some of you guys want to move. You're trying to shift something. Okay, but the heart is here. So your heart wants something. It's something that the heart wants, but it's not moving. Maybe not moving fast enough. Maybe it's just not the time. Maybe it's not in alignment for you. It's not to say that it cannot happen. This can be like a move. This can be like you moving something in your life. It's, it has something to do with like a move, right? Um, or maybe you're just trying to come out of the energy. Because like I said, the heart is here. Take the lead. And this to me is like taking a leap of faith too. So we're going to take this. This is like the the third eye. So I like this because I feel like whatever this is, I feel like you know something is going to move. Like whether this is like a physical move or a move within your job or something like that. I feel like whatever this is, you know it's going to happen. It just may not be happening right now or maybe you just don't see the move happening. Maybe your heart is not attached to something. So maybe there's not an attachment or something like that to whatever this is. But something is about to happen. Let's see messages for the collective let me see we have trust see i told you 
So this right here, the black or red can be about the root chakra. So it's like trusting the process, trusting that something is going to happen, taking a leap of faith. All right. And look, wow, look, something is manifesting. But you know what? With these cards looking at this, guess what? Something better than you expected is about to manifest. So whatever this is, something way better is about to come in. So it's, there's a reason why something is not moving or there's a reason why something is not moving in the direction you want it to physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Okay, look, awaiting results is in reverse. So you're waiting for results in regards to something, but the universe has other plans, bigger plans. So the universe has bigger and better, bigger and better for you, bigger and better plans. Okay, so the universe is looking out for you and the universe wants you to stop kind of being in control about certain things. You know, um, they want you to find balance, see, find balance and not be in control of things. All right, so let's see. We have sadness and isolation. What are you guys sad about? There's something you guys need to get off your chest. Like you need to speak it. This is the throat chakra. And it's about an opportunity. So you guys are sad about an opportunity not coming in. You're still waiting. You're waiting to hear from somebody. And then we have daydreams and decisions, win or lose. So you may feel like whatever this is, you're in a win-lose situation. Or you've already told somebody your situation or what you're going through. You got a timeline, a deadline. We got seven and three. That's ten. Fives talk about change. Something's going to change last minute in this situation. Okay? Four is definitely spirit. They hear you. Things are going to come together. All right? So, I wouldn't stress it. I wouldn't worry about it so much. Okay? It's just, like I said, things aren't going to move in the way that you want them to move. But it's something that's going to definitely move. Okay? And go in your favor. So, let's pull some cards. Oh, shit. Let's pull some cards, y'all. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let me see. Messages for the collective. you don't see coming y'all we got the four of wands in reverse all right so it's like i said something is going to change cancel some type of event something is being delayed something is changing there also could be a little bit of drama or chaos or tension in your home or around your home or around some type of event or something like that that's what i'm also getting okay but let's hope not okay let's see what is currently challenging you we have the king of swords so that would make sense. I feel like you guys have got a lot on your mind. You're really trying to figure things out, process something, or handle something. Let's see. What do you need to focus on? The Knight of Cups are reversed. So be careful, y'all. There's somebody coming back. Maybe not jump to conclusions about this person because the King of Swords is here. I feel like you're aware. Maybe you are aware of this person. This can be like an ex, a fake friend, or somebody that's shady that's trying to come back. All right? And I feel like you need to focus on their energy and how they're showing up in your life. Okay? The person on your mind, we have the, the Emperor. Okay? So it could be an Aries. Somebody's favorite color could be red. Okay. Um, maybe last time you seen this person, they had on red. But we got the emperor here. So that's Aries energy for the person on your mind. Okay. Let's see how does the person on your mind feel about you. We have the two of wands. Oh, damn. I left my cards downstairs. I'm going to get them downstairs. It's like these desire cards. When we get to the love part, I will get them. Because I just got them and I thought they were kind of cute. I'm like, let me use these for the little love portion okay so how does the person on your mind feel about you we got the two of wands so this can be somebody coming towards you making a decision all right um so let's see for a lot of you guys this person is about to reach out or you guys are you know talking in communication let's look at your career and finances we have the three of swords so this can be what it is something that's not moving financially for you guys all right um what are you currently manifesting in our blessing in your life we have the eight of pentacles in reverse so if this is what you're manifesting the eight of pentacles is in reverse though i don't feel like you guys are manifesting debt or anything like that but i feel like you guys can just be in a negative mindset 
um, especially with the three of swords right here for your finances and career. So it's like, even if you are trying to manifest your way out of a situation, you got the three of swords, sadness, sorrow, pain, crying, you know, that's not going to help the situation. Um, being in that negative energy is not going to help the situation. All right. Um, let's see what do you need to let go of? All righty. We got the five of wands reverse people. There can be, this can be you in inner conflict. Let's see, advice from spirits, queen of swords reverse. So if this is the advice from spirit. Spirit is seeing like you are keeping yourself in this situation. We got the ace of swords. This talks about gaining clarity, okay? A breakthrough, a new beginning. Getting out of an emotional rut with the four of, so four of cups reverse. Showing more love, gratitude, being happy. This is somebody re-energized, you know, happy where they are. Like they're grateful for the things that they have. They're not complaining, right? They're in a really good energy. Four of cups reverse. And as you guys do that, look, more money comes in and offer an opportunity comes in. There could be an earth sign making an offer, okay, or offering something, or you could be an earth sign with like a serious offer coming in, okay? Um, so yeah, that does look good. Love it when the offers come in, okay? So let's see, let's shuffle some cards up, y'all, and see what's going on with the collective. Y'all got a lot of communication coming in, a lot of news, like information, messages coming in for you guys too, okay? Let's see. Let's see what's going on with the collective. What's going on with the collective? So we got this four of wands reverse. I wonder what change in your environment, in your home, or in a relationship. Something could be canceled. This could be family, friends. This, there could be some like type of drama, tension, something that is unstable. Let's see why is the four of wands reverse for what you don't see coming. Four of Wands reverse. We have it with the Ace of Cups. So there can be a love offer coming in. But it seems like this situation is kind of unstable. Or there's a lot of love and support around you. Um, but there's also an unstable situation around you. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? But the Ace of Cups talks about joy and new love, feelings, emotion, an emotional fulfillment. Um, this also talks about like personal growth, you know. So this can be where like something was unstable and like you've grown and evolved. You're out of that energy. You're no longer dealing with that person. But it can also be like new love or just a lot of love and support around you guys. So let's see why the Ace of Cups is here with the Four of Wands reverse because something was definitely unstable. Something was definitely rocky, unstable. And it's like something new came in or like there's like this new energy that's shifting in or coming in, right? So let's see. We have the Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, in the um, hang in, so things were definitely stagnant for a while, but it seems like you um, gained a new perspective or you have a new perspective when it comes to something, right? Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, so something is working out the way it should or the way it's supposed to be. This is a Capricorn energy. We got one, two, three, four yes cards, so this looks really good. We have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, so this is somebody that is encouraging you, this is somebody that is helping you shift your energy. Um, or this is you shifting your energy, right, with the Ace of Wands. So, love this. A lot of fire energy, a lot of passion. Maybe somebody wants to come back and rekindle a relationship with you. Um, if this is a Capricorn, their birthday can be December 31st to January 9th, okay? But this is somebody definitely wanting to rekindle things. Maybe somebody could have came home, you know, um, in their relationship where things were kind of shaky or upside down. And it's like, now things are changing, right, for the better in a situation, okay? Or like I said, this can be just a lot of love and support around you guys at this time. Three of Pentacles, things are also going to start looking up and looking better financially for a lot of you guys as well. Okay, so that also looks good as well. Let's see how this King of Swords is here for what is currently challenging you. So I definitely feel like there's just a lot on your mind, all right, with the King of Swords. The King of Swords is, you know, outspoken, you know, they speak and think clearly, um they apply logic and if this is what is challenging you remember we saw a couple cards over here not over here where was it yeah it was in this deck with the throat chakra when i said you guys aren't speaking up you're not saying nothing you're not getting something off your chest you're not telling someone how you feel or you're not letting it be known how you feel when it comes to a situation right so let's see why the king of swords is here going to the king of swords why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here we have the nine of pentacles. So what's challenging you challenging you is your financial situation. Um, this can be a Virgo. You guys can be a Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But the nine of pentacles talks about abundance, okay? The nine of pentacles energy is like, that's that, that luxury energy. Like, you know, like 
oh, like this person looks good, hair, makeup, nails, always done, always looking good, driving good, smelling good, you know. So it's like maybe that's what you guys could be, you know, manifesting like this nine of pentacles energy, okay. You're just like, look, like I deserve it. It's time for me to feel and be abundant. It's time for me to, you know, step into my independence or, you know, maybe you feel like it's time for me to be rewarded, okay? You really want to be in this Nine of Pentacles energy and this is what's challenging you. And I feel like if that's what's challenging you, the King of Swords is you coming up with the plan to get to the Nine of Pentacles. Like, why is this not manifesting, right? But you see beneath it, we got the Three of Swords. So there's sadness, pain, sorrow, you know, like that low vibrational energy. And it's okay to cry, yes, to get it out. But I feel like you guys are just sitting in a negative energy okay and by doing that it's not allowing things to manifest right because you're not believing and trusting the process is what i'm feeling also so with this nine of pentacles and the king of swords here we got the nine of pentacles in reverse see not trusting the process something is coming in very slow very slow moving a lot of virgo energy okay so let's see um with this it's like some of you guys just feel like you're a workaholic you feel like you're working 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 and nothing is paying off you're like okay you know, like I work for this company, I can have my own business, I can be doing this, and you know, I work nine to five and not getting this. Like, I gotta bust my butt to do this to get that, and nothing's paying off. So, you guys just feel like, damn, like I'm doing all this work and I'm still not where I want to be at. Knight of Pentacles, the reverse, right? So, this can be just like you also being impatient too, right? Knight of Pentacles, the reverse is somebody that's impatient, they want to see the offer, they want the opportunity to come in, they want to see the money, they want to see something coming in right and we have it with justice so libra energy you could be a libra right but this is a karmic lesson for a lot of you guys it's like the universe is humbling you you know the universe is for some of you guys you guys were once in the nine of pentacles you guys were thriving doing your thing when it was good life was great and it's like the universe is bringing you back to how it was before but it's going to take back off but i feel like during that time or in that moment when you guys were in this energy I wouldn't say y'all took something for granted, no, but something is just not adding up, right? So, the justice card can be talking about adjusting your attitude, right? It can be the way you're seeing things, maybe thinking that things aren't fair when things are fair, you know? Maybe you guys are in some type of contract or some type of, you know, arrangement, and that can be what is affecting your money. So, like, say if you guys are in, like, a lease or a contract, that can definitely be affecting your money. And you're just like, look, like, this is keeping me stuck. Some of you guys are in, like, a very high, like, um, car note, apartment, house, or something like that. Something is, like, a, like, you know, like, living above your means or just something is too expensive. Maybe you had the money then and you just, you don't, but you didn't want to downgrade or you didn't want to move, something like that. But for others of you, this is about some type of karmic lesson and... For a small few of you guys, this is about um, a lawsuit. And it is going to go in your favor. It's just taking forever for the money to come in. You're being impatient and it's coming in. Okay? So, I feel like you're thinking of like, okay, when is the money going to come in? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Um, it's all going to work out when it, like how it's supposed to and when it's supposed to with this energy here. Okay? There can definitely be a Libra involved. Virgo energy here. Okay? Somebody might also get played when it comes to a lawsuit. Somebody might take advantage of somebody's financial situation when, when it comes to like a lawsuit or some type of money coming in. So definitely be careful, okay? Or that can be like what somebody is telling you. Somebody may not be telling you everything, like all the details when it comes to like a lawsuit or some type of money. So definitely pay attention. All right, let's see what you guys need to focus on. We do got this Knight of Cups in reverse. Let's see why this Knight of Cups is in reverse, y'all. The Page of Swords. Somebody's about to reach out to you. Could be an air sign, okay? So somebody that you guys haven't heard from in a long time is going to reach out to you guys. And you guys need to focus on that person, this situation, and what they're saying. Somebody is coming towards you a little bit different than they were before. You know, is they're going to be very communicative. They're going to be, like, they're coming in very confident. A little, they're coming in a lot different than they normally do. But you guys need to pay attention to them for what you need to focus on. Yep, because look, this person may betray you, okay? The Ten of Swords talks about a uh, mental breakdown. This is somebody trying to ruin you. This is somebody that's still bitter, okay? Somebody that's going to betray you. But it can be deep wounds there. It can be something that this person did that you're just like, fuck, I can just not see myself, you know, really forgiving this person or whatever. But it's like a part of you is like, should I really forgive them? Or it can just be that this person hurt you so bad and you're letting them come back in. It could be a Gemini. We got double Gemini energy here. So this can be a Gemini and you're just like, damn, like, should I give in? 
no offense, Gemini, this can be you or it can be that maybe y'all were dealing with a Gemini. But if if it was a Gemini, somebody hurt and fucked over somebody really, really bad. It could be any sign. But I'm only saying that because Ten of Swords is Gemini card, Page of Swords is Gemini energy. Right? But then we got the Knight of Cups or Inverse Scorpio energy. Okay? But somebody definitely feels like really pray, played and betrayed and hurt. So you guys need to focus on the energy when it comes to this person. Let's see, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. So, yes, this can also be a Sagittarius, but the Wheel of Fortune is like, you know, like, with this Ten of Swords, like, somebody coming in just kind of, like, different. Like, okay, like, okay, we finally reached a turning point. Like, maybe we really could be friends this time. Maybe we really could get back together. Maybe we really could, you know, get along and be coworkers. Maybe we could get back together and, you know, like, I can call this person my family again, you know? somebody like looks at you as like a boss you know and they're like kind of jealous so i would be very careful um for some of you guys with this energy here i feel like somebody is trying to come, i wouldn't say they're trying to come back and purposely ruin you or like hurt you but i would be very careful you know like you know like spirit is warning you guys spirit is warning you be careful when this person returns okay when this person comes back into your life be careful Okay, they got a, um, an alternative motive. Excuse me, is that what y'all call it? Yeah. So, yeah. Yep, the death card. This is something that just maybe is just not meant to move forward. Like, with the death card, like, it should just, like, this time it's really going to end. Like, it's really going to be an ending here. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups in reverse, yep. So, don't let this person come back and say hopes, dreams, and, risk, and wishes. Don't let this person come back and be like, oh, we're the best of friends. I love you. I don't know why this happened, blah, blah, blah. Because Page of Cups in reverse is somebody that is envious of you, okay? If it is like a friendship or a family member or something like that. Now, if it's a, um, a lover or somebody coming back, they're still childish. They're still mature. They're still making it about them, you know? Um, yeah. And with the Wheel of Fortune to the Death card, Ten of Swords, like... It just, this, I'm not trying to say it like this collective, but this might be what you needed. You might need it to have this person come back in so you can really see them for who they really are. Maybe you already seen this person for who they really are, but it's like the universe is like, no, this is confirmation. Because whoever this is, they're on your mind. Whether it's a friend, a lover, family, it's like this person is on your mind and they're coming back. But it's like they're going to be even worse. And if they're not going to be even worse, they're going to be just on the same shit they were on before. And that's going to be the, the reason why you stop being like you already know the reason why you stop messing with them right so it's like when they come back it's not gonna be any better but in the beginning it's gonna seem like it is it's gonna be a lot better in the beginning like oh okay like we're good we cool like we're friends like oh okay i missed you like what's going on what's up but no this person is like envious and like if they weren't jealous and stuff before now when they come back into your life they are it's something about now like whatever you got going on now a lot has changed so they're gonna be told they're gonna be even more different now yeah, the world card in reverse. So, yeah, this person doesn't want this situation to end. But unfortunately, I feel like it just needs to end. Like, you know, this person was feeling empty inside. Maybe has something going on. But I just feel like, no, you're the empress now. You have evolved. You can be a tourist. But the empress is, she's a divine feminine, you know. She's a great mom. She's very abundant. She's loving. She's nurturing. She's caring. You know, and I feel like that person doesn't deserve that part of you, that side of you. They don't, they don't deserve to get that experience. They don't, they don't deserve that when it comes to you, right? So it's like the universe is also letting you see that this person took you for granted. They don't care because we got the ten of swords here. A lot of betrayal here too. And I feel like this person could be coming into your life to try to curse you, ruin you, you know, kind of like do some shit to you, bring you down, you know, make you low vibrational like them. Okay, so like I said again, spirit is warning you. Be careful when they return. Watch their every move. Because they got some shit up their sleeve, y'all. I'm telling you. All right, I'm telling you. So be careful with how you move. Okay, so let's see. Let's go into this Ten of Swords. Well, how they move. Yep, see, look, somebody from the past is coming back to betray you. Six of Swords. See, look, Ten of Cups. See, look, Queen of Wands in reverse. This is somebody jealous, envious, right? Shady. For a lot of you guys, it's a friend. Could be Queen of Wands in reverse. 
all right uh, aries leo sagittarius but she's jealous this can also be somebody like that definitely has come in between our relationship right um are like just let me see they're jealous of like your your lifestyle or your relationship or something like that it's like whatever this is whatever you got going on if it's a friend it's like they want what you got and they they know they're not gonna get it or have it right or it's just not coming to them like if it's if this is an ex-lover they're they just don't want to see you happy so they're gonna try to bring you down and hurt you by dealing with somebody else or bringing somebody up that they once dealt with or something like that it's whoever this female is with the lovers yep more gemini energy queen of pentacles and i feel like this person honestly thinks you're gonna be that you're gonna be stupid for them no mm -mm. two of wands making some type of decision no nope. choosing yourself yep following and trusting your intuition so for a lot of you guys if somebody is trying to come back friend or not you know this could be somebody that you could have love for or care for but i wouldn't trust them they were jealous before in the beginning in the past maybe you just didn't see it um but it's like this time you're really gonna see it right so you're really gonna see how they're moving how they're acting how they're walking how they're talking like yeah be careful like i said spirit is definitely trying to warn y'all okay so let's see the person on your mind we got this emperor let's see the person on the spirits i said spirits mind <laughs> the person on the collective's mind let me see seven of wands four of swords king of cups mm, i like this you never had a love like this before um this person could be a virgo or an aries but this could be somebody i don't want to say they're like anti-social or maybe you aren't i feel like they're not really talkative they like keep to themselves this is somebody that's doing really good for themselves also um you guys never experienced nothing like this before for some of you guys are like this person is new this is like a different kind of situation um this definitely seems very like new and there may be a lot of fear here okay um because somebody is needing to overcome fear when it comes to dating but i don't feel like this is you i feel like this is them yeah the moon is here pisces so this can be a pisces somebody's definitely in fear here and somebody isn't saying anything we got the four of pentacles capricorn energy and these three cards four of pentacles the moon and the harmony reverse all talk about fear 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 so let's get more information on this emperor for the person that's on your mind seven of wands ten of pentacles for a lot of you guys this is the situation that you guys have been fighting for um some of you guys don't know how this person feels you guys want this person to open up to you this could be a new connection for some of you guys doesn't have to be new it does not have to be new but if it is new, it looks like it's been around for about three, maybe six months. Um, and both of y'all are stable. Both of y'all are, you know, doing good. Or this person is doing really good for themselves. But there is a challenge here. What is a challenge? Mm, three of cups in reverse. Eight of wands in reverse. The justice card. This is something that's always on and off right this is a situation where it's always on and off you feel like you have to start the conversation you feel like you are gonna have to reach out see how they're doing like what's going on with you i mean what's going on with them oh shit i don't feel like there's a third party because i don't feel like y'all are dating but there could be that it could be that they're talking to other people maybe you're talking to other people so let's go into this three of cups in reverse and see what this is about three of cups in reverse can be like an on and off thing like right? where like one minute y'all are on and talking and then the next minute y'all aren't you know, but you're waiting for them to open up and be honest with, with you in regards to how they feel. And you want to know, you know, what they want and like where you stand, all that type of stuff. Let's see all the three of cups is in reverse. We have the queen of wands reverse, the four of cups. Mm, I see where this is going. Five of pentacles. For some of you guys, y'all have already been with this person. Y'all have been intimate, right? Um, and I feel like it's making you mad because... Uh, well, I'm going to just say this because I'm getting two different messages. So, for some of you guys, this has to do with the person that's coming back around. And if this has to do with the person that's coming back around, be careful because they are still messing with so-and-so. Remember, we have that Queen of Wands reverse over there. The person that was jealous. Now, if this is not because I'm getting a lot of new energy too, but it could be that somebody is coming back in a new energy, right? Because remember, we've seen that. Like, somebody is trying to come back different. You know, their energy is different, but then they're just going to be on that bullshit. 
So, um, damn, because we got the Three of Cups in reverse. I mean, yeah, Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse with the Four of Cups. You definitely feel like there's some type of disconnect here. You definitely feel like the love can be like kind of like unrequited between y'all. I don't even know who this Queen of Wands is in reverse, first of all. Who is this Queen of Wands in reverse? Why is she showing up for the new for the new person? We got the five of pentacles here twice. So this can be definitely somebody that's using and taking advantage five of pentacles. Hmm. Let's see how this person feels towards you. The person on your mind and how they feel towards you. Because something is very complicated. I'll tell you that. Because if this is like a new situation, it's like... The way they treat you is different than, you know, what you've experienced. But then there's also some type of disconnect, possibly a third party. You know, woman if they're all in, woman if they're not. Like, there's a lot going on here. Um, but you look at this person as like the emperor, as like the divine masculine, maybe having their self together. You know, it can be that too. Because remember, we're just looking at the energy. It doesn't have to be that they're your divine masculine, no. But the emperor can just tell me that maybe they do have their self together. They make money, maybe good money. It's something about this person that makes you feel like, dang, like they got their shit together, right? It can be something like that too. But let's see why the two of wands is here for how they feel about you guys. So we can see where this is going. So we got the eight of pentacles. But then we got the four of wands in reverse. So this is somebody that woman that they act like they want to build and grow with you and have something long term and stable with you. Right. Because we got the eight of pentacles here. It can be a Virgo. All right. So this is somebody that, you know, they make you feel good. They make you happy. They go all in. They'll do stuff for you. But then it's like with the four of wands in reverse, you're like, OK, so where do we stand? So one minute I thought we were together. Next minute you're like, no, we're not together. We're not in a relationship. Or one minute y'all are like at each other's house or at their house for two, three, four days. And they're like, oh, I need space. I need a break. I need some time. It can be that their family, you know, doesn't like you because we got the four of wands in reverse. There can also be some distance here, too. Okay, um, let's see. For some of you, I'll just tell you this, Three of Swords. Okay, so that's what it is. Now, for some of you guys, I know this is going way off, but for some of you, this is not going to resonate with all of you. Some of you guys, there's a there's distance here. And when they start to act funny, that's because they're with the other person, but you're the person that they want to build and be with. And they're not going to be serious with you or act funny they're not going to be as serious with you and they're going to continue to act funny with you until you become closer or until you give them something that they want because they do want to move forward with you but at the same time they're holding back information and they're doing things to sabotage and stop the relationship if that makes sense mm -hmm. page of wands they get excited when they talk to you this is somebody that you communicate with a lot you guys are dating you guys are going out you know, but then we got judgment here. We got the two of cups. You're like, really? Are we together? Are we soulmates? Like, what is this about? Like, you yeah, see now the wands, seeing this person when they're around you, they're happy. But then it could be that like when you leave, things change or they just got another agenda. It's like there's something about this person, like with the tower here. Yeah, like there's something weird about this situation. See the magician in reverse. They're not to be trusted, but like wants to be with you. That's like very weird to me. So there's like some type of very weird energy here, right? When it comes to this person and certain things. Hmm. Let's see. Let's pull from the relationship vibes card. So let's see. Messages for the collective when it comes to this person on their mind and how this person feels. The person on the collective's mind. Oh, shit. That's a lot of cards. We're not going to take all those. Um, let's see. Because something is weird here. I'm trying to get all the way to the bottom of it. I'm giving my dreams are coming true vibes. That's what I'm saying. The person on your mind is making you feel like your dreams are coming true. The happiness is because, it says because I'm single. But it, I feel like it's like this person is also making you very happy. And you guys were single before you guys got with them. See, so living my best life. And we got the pleaser. So that's what I'm saying. This person makes you feel really good. And this person is a pleaser. So let's look at how the person feels towards you that is on your mind. We got friend zone. See, and I feel like at times you guys feel friend zone. 
right? It says everyone needs a friend that can call, they can call to go out with, talk to. But I feel like you're like, how are we friends? Are you putting me in a friend zone? We're always spending time together. Like, you please me the way you do, the things that you do for me. Like, so I feel like you are, like, definitely confused here, right? So you feel like they're, you may feel like they're gaslighting and that they're not interested in you because it's like one minute they're all to please and give you what you want and they're all into you. And then the next minute you feel like, okay, Am I tripping? Like, are we not, like, what is, it's not together. We got old school, somebody that wants to take care of you, you know. So, let's see. Trying to bounce back. So, I just feel like there is definitely some miscommunication here. I definitely feel like um, there is a disconnect here um, when it comes to you and this person. Let's see. I was going to get my cards, y'all. I don't know. I might get them. They're downstairs. They're just a little different. Let me see. Messages for how this person feels towards you. Because I'm also seeing it too. Like, they want to be with you, but then this can be them not interested in another person. Cupid's arrow. See, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they want to be with you, but it's like, for some of you guys, they have like a little fuck buddy on the side or somebody that they were dealing with that's not really important to them. And they're going to cut that person off for you, but then it's like that person is going to go nuts or something like that. This person is a whole vibe. Look, see, we got space. Somebody wants space. We got love. The love is real. But I feel like they want space because they're trying to get rid of this other person. And they know in order for things to balance out and come together, they got to let go of somebody with the let go. Okay? So they're telling somebody, like, look, this connection is not for me anymore. I don't feel like it has anything to do with you, but it's kind of like how it came out. So let's see why this Three of Swords is here for y'all. Finances and career. Remember we had the Three of Swords under there, then we had the Eight of Pentacles, right? Um, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Cups and Reavers. Mm. So some of you guys don't like the changes. I like some type of changes. Something has changed for you financially and you don't like it. It had you feeling dissatisfied. It had you feeling like a failure. It had you feeling like you're not going to be able to move forward. You need to emotionally detach yourself from it. Okay. The Knight of Cups in Reverse 2 can also be the distraction that's coming in from this friend, this lover, whoever, because it talks about heartbreak, deceit, disappointments, turmoil, avoiding conflict. So I feel like you guys are just not in a good space already. And then on top of that, somebody coming in and distracting you and kind of making things worse. I feel like it's not going to it's not going to help the situation. But I do see you guys moving forward um, and coming out of this energy successfully when it comes to something with a chariot. And walking away and detaching and moving forward so it looks like like by july your finances are definitely going to improve and be really good or look a lot better for you guys so that does look really good too all right um so just know your financial situation is definitely changing for the better for a lot of you guys and then we have the um eight of pentacles reverse for what you are currently manifesting and our um our blessings coming towards you guys all right so let's see why the eight of pentacles is in reverse we have the higher font. See, I told you there was some type of lesson here. But you guys are you guys are gonna get a line of lesson. Yep. See, I six of wands is you guys moving forward, right? But it's like also the five of wands is a lot of distractions, right? It's blockages, conflict, competition. All right, but needing to be diverse, needing to go into something with full force, needing to not be scared of the competition, right? So whatever this is, you're manifesting. The universe is like, don't be scared of the competition. You know, just because there's competition out there doesn't mean that you're not gonna win. You know, like, seriously, I tell people that all the time, you know, like, I used to be like a numbers person, I used to be a views person, I used to look at pages and be like, oh, I know my messages are good, like, why does this person have this and this and that and that, and then I had to realize, like, I'm always booked and busy, or I'm always busy, if it's not with the channel, it's with a drop ship, or it's a class, or something going on, so I had to, like, remove myself from that energy, and, like, focus on what I had and what was coming to me, and not let the competition or other people make me feel some type of way, so for some of you guys, that is what it is, it's like, you are very successful and even though you want to be like them or have these numbers or views or have what these other people have, these people actually want to be like you. And you're not seeing that. So y'all want to be like them. They want to be like you. They want what y'all got. All right. So let's see. Yeah, they see you busy. They see they 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 know money when they see it. Meaning like they know you're doing something really good. You know, um, so don't be fooled. And this and you're very confident, right? So they they wish they had your confidence. Um, 
So yeah, I feel like some of you guys are allowing yourself to be kind of scared and nervous when it comes to something. Now I do remember the Queen of Swords being in reverse for what you guys are needing to let go of or advice from spirit. So like I said, thinking negative, coming out of that negative energy, negative talk with that Queen of Swords here. Six of Swords, I do see you guys shifting out of that energy, but look, it goes from the six back to the five. You guys are gonna shift out of that energy for a minute, but y'all are gonna go back to that energy. Y'all are going to have an opportunity come in, right? But then it's like, as soon as the opportunity comes in, you're going to be fussing and complaining about something else. So try not to do that. Now with that five of swords coming in like that, y'all, like think, be, act, and speak positive at this time. All right? Or in general, just not at this time in general. Okay? Um, Should I go get those cards? I'm thinking about it, y'all. Give me one second. All right. I'm back, y'all. So let's pull these cards for the love portion. Universe and spirit, give me messages for the collective's person and how they feel and what they want. This is the hidden desires cards, okay? So, they a little freaky, some of them. Man, they got a lot of cards. Wait, this is too many. It's like eight, y'all, I'm sorry. I did see Diva and I seen Oral. So, if those that come back out, then that means... Just needs to come back out. So let's see. So let's just got a collective. Uh oh, multiple. Can stay hard as. <laughs> it says can stay hard a long time. Has multiple orgasms. Are will give you some. So yes, yeah, some of the images are a little yeah yeah you know. But um, somebody, you know, they could have picked a better picture than that, baby. I'm sorry. Because mm -mm. I wouldn't even want that. Never mind. Anyways, they could have picked better pictures, but a better picture than that. But somebody, you know, they can go round for round. They're hard for a long time. They can bust and be back up and ready to go. They want to give you multiple orgasms. Okay. We have rare entry. Like to do it doggy style or from behind and could have a butt fetish. So, you are this person. Maybe doggy style is your favorite position or maybe that's their favorite position. Okay? But they like to bend that ass over. Let that. Okay? Um, we got romantic. Loves to kiss you and caress you and tell you how much they care about you. Okay? Let's see. We got the tease. Likes it when you bring them to the brink and back off. And they like to tease too. So, maybe y'all like to tease each other. I don't know, y'all. These cards. I'm going to tell y'all the cards I pulled yesterday. I had pulled them on my, um, you know what I'm saying? I was like, he started laughing. He's like, your cards be resonating. We got quickie. So it says, may orgasm quickly without meeting your needs. May leave you hanging. Uh-oh. We don't got time for no quickie. Mm -mm, not with the multiple orgasms. So it could be that maybe this person, you know, even when y'all have a quickie, it'd be good, you know. But if it was up to them, they'll go hours and hours, you know. And then we got pearls. Enjoys climaxing on your body and leaving a, a string of pearls on your skin. Mm, okay. And we got oral. So this one came back out. This was the one I seen when the cards fell out. And it says super turned on by getting or giving oral sex and may like it more than regular sex. So maybe they just like oral or, you know, both. You guys can have a nose ring. All right. We're realistic, but we got the oral card. Okay. We're going to pull one more. We're going to pull one more. We got shower sex, so maybe they like to have sex in the shower. Once they have you in the water, the shower, the pool, the rain, the hot tub, okay? They want it wherever they can get it, okay? So they like having shower sex with you guys. Ooh, some of y'all like to be spanked, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with it, okay? So some of y'all want to, you know, they like it when you bend over and let them spank you, okay? Some of y'all maybe been naughty. And it's time to get a whooping. All right. So, yeah, these cards are kind of different, kind of cute. You know, like I said, they could have picked better cards, especially for the multiple. Like, look at this. The fuck is that? The freak is that? Okay. Um. Yes. Mm -mm. They could have better images. But I kind of like the cards, though. They're kind of cute. They different. 
definitely different all right y'all so that is the daily reading that is the reading for you guys if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to book with me y'all already know fireintuition.com or you guys can book on my online store my tears have healed my heart dot com alrighty i love you guys stay dope and i will see you guys this week i'll be doing like i said collective readings and then we'll jump back on the zodiac readings next week alrighty bye y'all